Hey, hello, my name is Robin and welcome to this new MailChimp tutorial where I teach you how to design a MailChimp email newsletter template. So let's start by switching to MailChimp's new newsletter builder, if you haven't done so already. So when you're inside the MailChimp dashboard, you're going to click at the bottom left corner here on the profile here. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go to profile. I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go to details. So if you scroll down here, you can see here the default email builder. So you can use the classic builder or you can use the new builder. So I find the new builder way more user-friendly than the old one, as you will see in this tutorial. To so note that you can always switch back to the classic builder if you want. So once you select the new builder, you're going to click on save. And now you have the new builder installed. So if you now go to campaigns and email templates and click on create templates, you will have the new email builder. So I will start by designing the first email newsletter template for a real estate business. Note that I will be designing multiple email newsletter templates in this video tutorial for you guys and you can use the timestamps down below in the description to skip to the different email designs quickly so here i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to select the simple text i'm going to select it i'm going to call it real estate 2 and the reason i have two because i already have a real estate template where i did some tests so i'm going to click on save this is the default template of the simple text template of the new email design builder of MailChimp. So I'm gonna start by deleting everything on this template. So we will start from scratch. So I'm gonna click on this one and I'm gonna delete this block. I'm gonna delete everything. The only thing I'll keep is the footer over here. I'm gonna close this one as well. So now the first thing we're gonna add is the logo. I'm gonna click on the plus icon and I'm gonna go to logo. So this is our real estate logo. I'm gonna align it to the left. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, something like this. So the next thing I'm gonna add is a cool header so I'm going to click on the plus icon again. I'm going to go to creative assistant. And over here, I'm going to click on more. Then I'm going to click on brand kit. So as you can see, I already added my logo over here. So if you haven't done so already, you can do that over here as well. The next thing is the fonts. So I'm using these fonts over here. So I'm using this for the header fonts and this for the subheading font. I'm going to click on save changes. And these are the colors I'm using. So if you click on one of those colors, you can easily change it by changing the color codes or just moving this one. I'm going to click on save changes. And I'm going to click on update designs. I'm going to click on create new design. Uh, you can skip this step. So over here, I'm going to enter real estate properties, discover available homes in your area. You can use a button text or no. I'm not going to use a button for this one. So I'm going to click on skip. So I've added some images for our real estate listings. I'm going to click on generate designs. So now MailChimp is generating designs for us. So for the header of the email. If you don't like these four designs, you can click on more designs. You can also use the channel size to change the uh, design as well. I'm going to keep it at full wide. So I like this one, so I'm going to click on insert design. And as you can see, now we have the header for our email. It looks already pretty cool, right? I'm going to click on the plus icon again, and I'm going to select heading. I'm going to align this one in the center, and I want to change the font to something else. And to do that, you need to select the whole text, and then you're going to go to fonts, and then you change it to whatever you want. So I'm using this font. I'm going to click on the plus icon again, and I'm going to go to layout. So I'm going to click on text and image over here. I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to use this layout over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font to the same font as we did before. I'm going to use this. So again, make sure to select everything and then change the fonts because else it doesn't work I, I believe I'm going to add some photos over here I'm going to click on it I'm going to add a photo so I already uploaded an image I'm going to add an image here as well I'm going to change this title and I'm going to change this title as well you can just select the text and you can change the text to whatever you want. I'm going to use some example text over here. I'm going to delete the button. I don't want to use the button. I want to reuse the styling over here one more time. So I'm going to click on the middle over here and I'm going to go to duplicate block. So as you can see, I have now four listings for our real estate properties of this month. So here again, you can just change the text. Then at the end, I'm going to click on the plus icon. I'm going to add a divider. And then I'm going to click on the plus icon again. I'm going to go to layout. I'm going to go to text and image. And I want to use this one at the bottom over here. Here I'm going to add a new picture. I'm going to use this image. I'm going to add a title over here, a heading. Tips to find your perfect home. So here we can link, for example, to one of our blogs. Tips to find your perfect home. I'm going to delete this one over here. I'm just going to add some example text over here. Again, here it is important that I want to use that same font again. 
So I'm going to change the font. I'm going to change this font as well. And that's the beauty of creating a template because now we're creating an email template that you can reuse the same template over and over again for future emails. So then we have this button over here and we can easily change the text to, for example, find out more. And I would like to change the color of the button to the, the same color as this. And I'm, I always use uh, this plugin for that. So the color pick eyedropper uh, Chrome plugin. So I'm gonna, you can just easily click on it and then you see the color code. So it's really nice. So now I copy the color codes. I'm gonna click on a button over here and I'm gonna use the same color for that button as we have as the logo. So then lastly, I'm gonna change the, uh, the footer layout, I'm going to change it to something like this over here. So we have the logo at the bottom and I'm going to give it a different background color. So the same background as the button and as the logo. Then we want to change the text of this to white. So I'm going to select it all and I'm going to go to the text, the color. I'm going to select it to white. Now the text is white. And then I also want to add some social icons. So I'm going to click on social over here and I'm going to scroll down a little bit and we want the color to be light and then the background color the same as the footer over here. And maybe it would be nice to get some a little bit more white space over here. And for that, we can use the spacer. We can make it a little bit bigger. So this is the first example. Pretty cool, right? So it's really easy to design a beautiful template, a design a template inside MailChimp. So we have the logo and we have four listings of different real estate rental properties. So we can click on the image, for example, we can easily link to the website of your choice. So then we have the blog over here and you can easily add a link to the button, for example, so you can add a web address, same for the image. You can easily link to a website over here. So the next step is to click on save template and exit. And this is the template we created, real estate too. And we can use that template to create a newsletter. So for example, if we click on create over here and we're gonna go to regular email and we're gonna click on design email. So now instead of recreating that same email again and again for future emails, we can just go to templates we're going to click on saved and over here we have the real estate number two template we just created and if we click on apply i'm going to click on start with a clean template and now we have the template we just created in a newsletter and we can add the images we can change the text but other than that so the fonts and the colors are the same as we just created in the template. Let's continue with a new email design template, example number two. So we're gonna go to campaigns, email templates. We're gonna click on create templates. We're gonna scroll down a little bit and we're gonna use the simple text email template again. And this one I'm gonna call gifts. I'm gonna delete everything in this template again. So I'm gonna click on the bin icon. I'm gonna delete everything so we can start from scratch. So the only thing I'll keep is the footer of the email. I'm gonna close this one. So the first thing I'm gonna add is a banner at the top of the email that says free shipping. So as you can see, I cannot add the text right now. So that is a little bit annoying. So I'm gonna add an image. I'm gonna click on image over here. And now if I move this one below the image, now I can see the text. So this is a, it's a bug in the in the new template builder from Mailchimp probably. A free shipping on all orders over $50. I'm gonna center this text and I'm gonna change the font to, and I'm gonna use this font, the Playfair display font. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and I'm gonna change the background of this text to pink and I'm gonna move it to the top again. But the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the logo. So I'm gonna click on the plus icon. I'm gonna go to logo. I'm gonna replace this logo and I'm gonna use this logo over here. I'm gonna click on insert. So this is our logo. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger. I'm gonna add a divider below this header over here. I'm gonna click on divider and I want this line to be pink. So the same as the top over here. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and I want to delete the padding from the left. Click on zero and I'm gonna enter and the right as well, something like this. And I want to decrease the padding of the top and also the padding at the bottom. I'm gonna delete this image because I don't need that image. I'm gonna click on the plus icon and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the creative assistant again, similar to the first example where we use the creative assistant to create a beautiful header for our email. So for the header, I'm using this text over here, get exclusive birthday benefits. And for the subheading, I'm using this text. So let us know when your birthday is and we'll send you a special gift. I'm gonna click on more more. I'm going to go to the brand kit. I'm going to click on logos and I'm going to upload my logo. I'm going to add a logo. I'm going to click on save changes and I'm going to click on save changes here as well. 
I'm gonna change the fonts and I'm gonna use that same font again. So the play fair display. So play fair display bolts for the headings. And for the subheading, I'm gonna use the play fair display. I'm gonna click on save changes. So then we have the brand colors. I'm gonna click on colors over here. So I'm gonna click on add color. I'm gonna add the pink color. I'm gonna close this one. I'm gonna click on save changes and I'm gonna click on update designs. I'm gonna click on create new design. I'm gonna skip this step. Apparently I need to fill in the headings again. <laughs> Sorry about that. And the subheading was let us know when your birthday is and we'll send you a special gift. And for the button text, I'm gonna use enter birthday. I'm gonna click on next. I'm gonna remove these images and I'm gonna add a new image. You can also use the stock photos, the unplash images if you connected that with MailChimp. So I search for gift and I'm gonna select this image over here. I'm gonna use this image. I'm gonna click on generate designs. You can add more images if you want. I'm just gonna use one image. I'm gonna click on generate designs. So if you click on channel size, you can tweak the design here. So you can maybe full white, for example. Um, and if you don't like these designs, you can click on more designs. As you can see, it looks already pretty cool, right? So I'm going to go for a landscape one in this example. And I like this design. So I'm going to click on insert design. And it's a pretty cool design, right? And if we want to add one of our blocks to our email newsletter, we're going to click on the plus icon. We can use the layout here again. We're going to use the text and image, for example. And here I'm going to use this one. So let's say we're going to change this text to five birthday. And over here, I'm going to add 10 tips for healthy aging. I'm going to add some example text over here. I'm going to add some example text here as well. And then we want to use the same fonts. So I'm going to select all the text over here. I'm going to change the fonts to the font we used previously. So we use Playfair Display. I'm going to do the same here. Playfair Display. I'm going to remove the buttons. I don't like the buttons over here. I'm going to add some pictures. I'm going to click on Add. I'm going to upload an image. Here we can change the alignment as well if we want. The so center or full. I'm going to change this image as well. I'm going to click on add, upload an image. And as you see, now this image is bigger than this image. And here you can easily uh, change that by just moving the image over here. Then lastly, I'm going to change the footer. I like to have the logo at the bottom, something like this. Then I'm going to change the logo to the uh, correct logo. I'm going to replace the logo, upload an image. So now the logo is pretty big. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, something like this. And I'm going to change the background of the footer as well to the pink background color that we used previously and i'm going to add some social media icons here as well i'm going to change the background of this as well to the pink one and then we can either choose to uh, use these colors for these social media icons or we can change them to light for example looking at this header i maybe want to um, make this a little bit smaller around 18 for example something like this and the padding at the top a little bit less so the padding at the top like six something like this so this is example number two i hope you like it i definitely like the template it looks clean it looks nice it looks professional and that's all we want right so i'm gonna click on save template and exit so let's create one more email design template example so we're gonna go to campaigns again email templates i'm gonna click on create templates we want to start from scratch again so i'm gonna gonna use the simple text one and I'm gonna call this one tail. I'm gonna click on save. I'm gonna delete everything like I did before so we can start from scratch. I'm gonna delete everything over here. So I'm gonna change the footer to this. It looks a little bit better. So after I deleted everything so we can start from scratch, I'm gonna click on the plus icon. I'm gonna go to layouts. I'm gonna do text and image and I'm gonna use this layout over here. And over here I'm gonna upload my logo and over here I'm gonna create some sort of a menu bar that you have on a website. So I'm gonna delete the first headline over here. So this is a little bit annoying again, as we uh, mentioned previously. So I'm gonna click on the plus icon here. So we're gonna add a divider, for example, and I'm gonna create a pretty big divider and I'm gonna put it on top here. So we don't have that problem that we cannot see uh, our text when we wanna edit it. I'm gonna delete the button over here. And over here, I'm gonna create some sort of a menu item, what we have on a website. So I added these two things, sort of a menu bar people can click on so they can go directly to that category on our website. So I'm gonna center these two menu items and I'm gonna change the font as well. So I'm gonna use this font over here, something like this. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna uh, select all. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, something like this and I'm going to use the bold font. So now I'm going to add the logo for this business. So I'm going to click on the image. I'm going to click on add. I'm going to upload the logo. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to create a, a background color for this uh, top menu bar over here. I'm going to click on layout backgrounds. I'm going to 
paste the color codes I want to use. I'm going to reduce the padding a little bit, to zero. I'm going to add a little bit more spaces here. And obviously you want to link this text here, right? So you want to link the text to your website. I'm going to reduce the logo a little bit more. And I'm going to reduce the padding here a little bit as well, zero. And now I can remove this upper divider. I'm going to click on the plus icon again, and I'm going to use the creative assistant again to create a beautiful, nice looking image at the top of our newsletter. I'm going to click on the more. And here I'm going to go to brand kit. And here I'm going to upload my logo and I'm going to apply all these things. Can this logo be applied on your background? Yes, it can. I'm going to click on save changes. I'm going to click on save changes here as well. I'm going to change the fonts as well. So I use the Gilda font for this one. And I'm going to use the same font for the uh, subheading as well. I'm going to click on save changes. And I'm going to click on colors. I'm going to change this color code over here. So this is the color we use at the top menu bar. So I'm going to click on save changes and update designs. Create a new design. I'm going to skip this step for the objective. I don't think it's necessary. I'm going to skip it. Let's update your text. Yes, I do want to update my text. So the heading is the sale is almost over. The subheading is this is your last chance. And then the button text will be start shopping. So I'm going to click on next and I'm going to remove this image and I'm going to use a different image. I'm going to upload the new image. But this is the image I'm going to use and I'm going to generate designs and for this channel size i'm going to use the hero one and again if you don't like the designs you can click on more designs and you get more design ideas so it looks pretty cool right so it's it's a little bit different than than normal than a normal image here we got some more designs some more designs uh, i like this uh, design so i'm going to click on uh, insert design so this is the design we created so the next thing i'm going to add is a, a headline over here and here i'm going to add a, a single line so if you have any questions or comments please email us at your email address. So we want to change this uh, font again. So I'm going to go to fonts and I'm going to search for the font that we were using. That was this one. I'm going to center this text. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, something like this. Then I'm going to click the plus icon again and I'm going to add a divider and I'm going to add some social media icons. I'm going to change the color of those social media icons. I'm going to go for dark in this case. I'm going to change the logo here at the bottom, replace the logo, uh, browse images. I'm going to use this image, insert. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, something like this. And maybe I'm going to use this same background color of this header over here at the footer. So I'm going to uh, click on the footer over here. I'm going to click on the layout backgrounds and I'm going to use this same backgrounds here and maybe for this one as well. Uh, backgrounds, something like this. A little bit more padding at the top. So padding and then at the top, a little bit more padding over here. Something like this. And then one thing I didn't mention before in the earlier newsletter templates is that uh, for some reason you cannot add a link to this button. Um, so what you actually need to do is you're going to save this template and exit. You're going to head over to contents studio and over here you have the creative assistant and we're going to click on a few full library and over here we have the creative assistant image we created and we're going to download that image so we're going to click on downloads it is basically an image we created so we just downloaded it, that image as you can see so i'm going to close this one and i'm going to go back to the email templates i'm going to click on edit and now i'm going to click on the plus icon over here and we're going to click on image and over here we're going to add that image we just downloaded that creative assistant image we created over here. And now I'm going to use the full alignments. And now as you can see, it looks the same as this one over here. And now we can add a link to this full image over here. And we can delete this one. So I'm going to delete the block. And there might be a little bit too much padding over here. And as you can see at the bottom, we can change that to zero. So these were the three email template designs that we created. Please let me know down below in the comments what design you like best. So was it this one? So the real estate design? Or was it this design you like best? Or was it the last one? So let me know down below in the comments. I think I like this one pretty much. And the first one and the last one. Mm, not not I'm not I'm not a big fan of the last one to be honest but let me know down below in the comments what you think what design you like best so that's the end of this video if you need more help please check out the description down below where I will link to more in-depth MailChimp tutorials thanks for watching and consider subscribing if you want to see me again also like the video if you enjoyed it thank you bye bye